with four kids and a very busy career, best-selling author and Emmy Award-winning co-host of The Good Dish, Daphne Oz, is all too familiar with finding the right balance in our health and fitness goals while still living that full life. In her new book that just debuted, Eat Your Heart Out, Daphne shares just four simple rules that can remove the guesswork from healthy eating, and she joins us this morning. Hi, Daphne. Hello, good morning. I, Thank you for having me. Absolutely our pleasure. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. We, I, I do all the cooking, okay, in our house. All right, I love making dinner each night, and I'm always looking for help to make things more healthy but still taste good. Can you tell us about Eat Your Heart Out? Of course, and I love to hear that. What a lucky family you have. Um, yeah, so Eat Your Heart Out is all fun, no fuss food to celebrate eating clean. And it is 150 recipes, free from gluten, free from refined sugar. It was very much a book that I needed personally in my own life and, um, and feel like we all kind of, look, we might want more vitality, more energy to fit better in our clothes. But a lot of the time, what we're offered in order to do that feels like another job. It feels like a lot of work. It feels very restrictive. It feels frankly, not that delicious. And if you know anything about me, I am an eater by nature, by calling, by choice. I absolutely <laughs> love to eat and love, look, I explore life through food. I adventure and, and you know, build memories that I care about through wonderful meals that I share with people that I love. So it was very natural for me to want to have wellness and pleasure in every bite. And Eat Your Heart Out was sort of my, my compilation of the foods and the recipes that have really helped me after childbirth, I'll do it. I'll do the, it's a reset. So it's five days on, two days off, but I'll do for a couple of months at a time after childbirth. I've got four kids and I've, I've been through this before, but I'll do it for a week or two after the holidays or a period of lots of stress where it can be so easy to lose track of our healthy habits and become, you know, fall prey to lots of things with gluten and sugar in them, which are so delicious and so, you know, present and convenient and widely available, but maybe not putting us on track. Um, so th <laughs> these are the recipes that I love and use. Well, Daphne, first off, thanks for doing all the work for us. We appreciate that, all right? So that way, <laughs> when you don't want the gluten, you don't want that refined sugar, and, and you just don't want to do all the work. Sheet pan meals, right? I mean, that's, that's really, a, that's kind of a time saver, right? I mean, talk about the benefits of it, sheet pan meals. So I, I wonder if these feature prominently in how you're cooking at home, because I love a sheet pan meal. I mean, they really are just a, a cook's best friend. They develop so much flavor. You, you can really let the oven do a lot of the work. You don't need to get in there and, and mess around with too much. And it's minimal cleanup, which I love. The worst part of cooking for me is the cleanup. Yes. So, so this is really something I get into. And um, the book, of course, free from refined sugar and gluten. So I make my own barbecue sauce. This is mama's barbecue chicken that I'm showing you how to make. I love, of course, the tanginess in the body that a lovely tomato puree brings. My barbecue sauce has to have some heat to it, so I add a little chili flake. You can, of course, leave that off, especially if you're feeding kids not interested in that. Garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and chili powder going in. And then I like to add a little tanginess. I like to layer the sauce and layer the flavor. Still keeps it really simple, but delivers this big flavor impact that is critical for me even when I'm doing my reset. So I add in some apple cider vinegar and some mustard. Now, the book free is free from refined sugar, but I do add date syrup. Now this is pureed date, so dried fruit that you plump up in some warm water, puree it down, and it becomes this wonderful sticky sweet, almost like molasses consistency. Mm, it actually tastes a lot like molasses, but without any of the bitterness. You stir that all together, simmer it about 10 minutes, it becomes this gorgeous glossy barbecue sauce that you can keep in your fridge and have on hands for all different kinds of protein. So you're going to pop this uh, sheet tray into the oven, get it nice and sizzling hot while the oven is preheating, brush it with a little olive oil and then add your chicken thighs and drumsticks on here that I toss with a bit of the barbecue sauce and you will immediately hear it start to sizzle. I, I love the sensory experience of cooking. I think you should use all your senses, your smell and your sight and your taste, of course, and your hearing. To hear that sizzle is to hear the start of flavor. It is the start of the crust forming and that wonderful char that we love. Um, this goes in the oven about 40 minutes. Halfway through, you'll flip them give them a little extra pad of barbecue sauce so you really get that sticky gorgeous coating that we love another 20 minutes and then here's the trick the final three minutes of the cook process go under the broiler mm. that's going to help develop some of that smokiness that char that barbecue really deserves and loves and you will have a beautiful full meal you can do this with a gorgeous salad you could do another tray of roasted veggies alongside make double use of your oven while it goes but it really is meant to fill you up and make you feel food confident. Like you know how to feed yourself to feel good. And, and that's something that I really, I pride myself on. I think, you know, taking good care of ourselves should always be delicious.
Daphne, you mentioned 150 <laughs> recipes, and then you mm -hmm. <laughs> and you also mentioned no refined <laughs> sugar. Now. Sugar is in everything, it seems like, that we're, that we're eating, right? It's almost impossible to avoid it. Besides that, I'd never even heard of that date, sir. I love that date idea. But what other ways are you incorporating sweetness into these recipes? So um, the book is, uh, is a wonderful, I look, I, I think it's really important to give you tools and, and tricks up your sleeve to use wherever craving strike or wherever you're eating. You want to meet people where they are so that you can feel safe and secure like you're supported. Um, and I think breakfast is one of those places where sweet treats oftentimes feature, especially carby, delicious sweet treats. Um, these are my pumpkin banana muffins that I have to advertise because it's true that they are the love child of pumpkin pie and banana bread. Oh my. They are like some muffins, you know, crumble and fall apart in your lap. These muffins are that gorgeous, almost custardy texture of pumpkin pie, but light and tender enough like a muffin. So filling, so delicious. And the sweetness in these comes from bananas, a little bit of the date syrup coming in as well, but it's mashed bananas, which are a beautiful way to build in that natural sweetness. I do use probably in a, like a handful of recipes, coconut sugar, just for those places where you need a dry sweetener, but it's a very minimal. Um, and mainly the sweetness is coming from the foods themselves or from a little bit of date syrup where I need it. Oh my goodness, pumpkin pie and banana bread had a child. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, you had me, as soon as you said that, I, my, my brain just went on vacation to some place where I was <laughs> stuffing my face with that. That sounds delicious, I wanna get this book. I mean, obviously people recognize you from being a judge on MasterChef, you know, alongside Gordon Ramsay and Aaron Sanchez, but uh, as an author, as someone who's getting a personal cookbook and recipe out there how can we get a hold of this and, and tell me tell me I can get it now oh of course yes eat your heart out is available wherever books are sold and you can come hang out with me online at Daphne Oz or, or Daphne Oz.com and get all the little tips and tricks I've shared here today and and I so appreciate that thank you so much absolutely Daphne thanks for spending the time with us this morning I'm just starving now I got to get some food let's get this book <laughs> you want to learn more about Daphne's book pretty simple as you heard Daphneoz.com